everybody thank you for joining me in another video today we are finally going to be installing the front mount on the GTI I've been waiting all week long to get this installation done and today's the day the GTI finally gets a front mount intercooler it's been really hot outside and I can really feel the car bog down when I step on it so I really hope that this intercooler makes a difference in the heat so uh, I'm gonna be driving over to my buddy's house we're gonna get the installation done over there and hopefully everything goes good so let's drive over there and let's get today's video started Finally made it. I'm pretty sure you guys will recognize the Subaru. <laughs> he also owns a SRT and of course the GTI we're gonna be working on it today. So yeah, hopefully everything goes good and we don't break anything. We have really bad luck when we when we work on our cars and we always end up breaking stuff. So we're gonna start off by removing this uh, T20 screws over here on the side of the of the fender same on the other side there's another three and i believe we have to remove the grill in order for the bump to the bumper to come off so let's get started and uh once we get done we'll take it for a drive see if we notice any difference splinter fuck they don't work <laughs> This is how you remove a splitter, guys. It works. Fuck. <laughs> it's not gonna come out. <laughs> Let's call 911 real quick. All right, so this is the first time we're gonna be removing this. Uh, so. We're having a, some trouble finding the correct way to remove this. All the bolts, everything's... Uh, Without breaking it. It's, it's, it's off, so... <laughs> right now we're just trying to find a way to remove it without breaking it. Because if not, you know what? Let me go grab the correct tool to, to get this. Here you go, bro. If you can't remove it, just go <laughs> ahead and fucking you. We're gonna show you the easy way to get this so bumper off So that's gonna be the there. easiest way. No, we're just kidding, guys. We'll skip that step for now. So that's probably gonna be your plan. B. B or C, you <laughs> know. Always have three plans. Uh, either you do it the correct way, or you kind of break it, or you just go crazy on it and just fucking cut it and buy a new one. Make sure you got the right tools <laughs> when you do this. All right, guys. All right, we got it off. Bro, look, we just off. This thing is breaking right here. See this? That's why. That's why it's not it's not boosting properly. <laughs> so, boost leak right there. This uh, I think this front grill comes off. T20. So we're gonna be installing a front mount. On this GTI, let's see how how it goes. We're gonna be planning on racing the GTI with dun 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 a four wheeler. <laughs> Real quick, we're gonna do it up uh, off road race. off road race. So we just broke something. This is probably not the safest to do, but. That's what we're gonna be doing, I guess. Make sure you're on the flat surface when you jack your car up the floor. Yeah, but we don't have room. As you can see, we just moved in. Um, we still got all this mess here, so we'll be taking care of that. And then we'll have that going in here. And yeah, that'd be pretty cool. 
careful. We just took off the the front grill. Uh, it was kind of tricky, you know, because he has a bunch of uh, clips of clips on the bottom, as you could see there, and they're all right here. So you kind of have to push it back and then lift and up, lift it up, try to remove it. So something I noticed: make sure to unplug. I think that's the the fog lights. So before Shit, you did I break it? No. So before you even pull it out, remember to unplug those. See, you oh, just we got learned. it out now. Fuck, I forgot about those, dude. <laughs> you just learned something new. And we just did as well, you know. That's the good thing about working on uh, cars. Lift it up from that side? Uh, you always learn something. So we decided if we break the bumper, might as well just fucking do the whole motor. Build we're gonna, the motor. We're gonna rebuild the whole thing. Cause we're gonna break the front bumper. So yeah. Let's see how it goes. I hope not. But we're hoping not to. We finally managed to get this bumper off of there. You have to be really careful. I'll show you guys. This tab right here, cracked, of course. Like I told you guys, there's always something going wrong, so make sure you take it off carefully. But it shouldn't be that hard. We also chipped the bumper here, but that's not even of my concern. Now, we gotta relocate this temperature sensor. So, pretty much squeeze and out of the way. And I uh, think we are ready to mount this on the car now. Did you go through the back? I don't think so, because it's going to be hard to get the bolts. So, I don't think we're going to relocate the horn, so we're just going to bend it up. That way we can feed the tubes through there. I'm trying to see. So this one goes in like this, I think. And then that way the horn won't be on the on our way next to... Uh, it's going to be the same thing for the other side. I think we have to measure this uh, crash bumper to drill two holes so that we can run our bolts through them so one there one there we kind of have to center the front mount and then mark it that way we can drill the holes and mount this right behind here so it's going to sit just like that and then we can run our uh, charge pipes and now we should be done by then we can put the bumper back in place the grill and we should be good to go so cool, cool. yeah so we're just gonna have to mark this for now and then drill two holes and then we'll go from there Listo, bro. <laughs> all right so we have the front mount on the car already as you guys can see i think it looks freaking amazing uh, one thing though, whenever you're drilling the two holes to mount the front mount to your uh, crash bumper, you will need a drill with, I think that's a, um, is it a quarter inch? Let me see. No, 516 spit on it in order to put those uh, mounting bolts in there. Uh, you might need help. We're doing this together. So it was a little bit easier. Uh, you need to be able to hold that front mount uh, Since it's a little bit heavy, it's really hard to do it uh, Only one person so make sure you have some someone to help you around once you're doing this So now we just tighten up the bolts. It's already mounted. We're going to uh, put our temperature sensor on this uh, provided bracket here so it goes in right there I just have to play around with it make sure you put the clamps on and we have it just like this since we were trying to line up everything uh, so we were able to move the, the front mount so we got the lines already one thing I'm not liking though is this uh, charge hose or pipe over here it's rubbing right there and I don't want that honestly I think I'm going to either bend that bracket up because if I leave it, I'm pretty sure with time it's just going to 
eat through the hose and I don't want that to happen. Also, one more thing. It's probably a good idea if you're doing a front mount intercooler like this, uh, you know the stock intercooler stays, stays in the car, so maybe use a, some rags to block it or, you know, plug both uh, sides of the intercooler. That way you don't get any spiders or anything in there, dust, rocks, whatever, Damn, and bro. you can always reuse it. So maybe so just this something. thing. This this thing's ready to go smoke some real power out there. We're gonna GTO we're gonna raise the GTI against the SRT soon. I'm pretty sure Armando already told you guys just to see what the difference is. But yeah, so far I'm really liking it. And we really like that we got fans already. We don't know who doggy that is. <laughs> he's just over here but chilling. He's looking and chilling with us. Oh man, I really like this from out. Looks yeah, let's try and put this in there. Why is it not going in? You're gonna have to squish it really good. And we are all done, guys. Front mount installed. Now we just have to put the front bumper back on. Put all the screws, connect our fog lights, put our grill on the top, and uh, that should be it. We're gonna take it for a drive, make sure everything is working properly. Make sure we don't have any leaks or anything, and uh, that should be it. So, hopefully this helps me with cooler temperatures on hot days like today. So, 700 horsepower. we are ready for bigger turbo now. We have downpipe intake, front mount. I'll be getting a diverter or blow valve soon, and uh, we should be able to throw the IS-38 there pretty soon, as soon as I get the money. <laughs> I can, that's the only problem with building cars, and then uh, we can go bigger turbo. So, let's put that bumper back on, on the car. All right guys, so we just finished installing the, uh, the front bumper. So we had problems putting it on because there's some boxes that go here behind the bumper and that was hitting the front mount so you could remove them it has clips uh, you could remove them that's what we did both sides um, and everything went in perfectly so we're done with that we're just putting the last bolts on uh, and we'll be ready to go we're gonna go test drive it unfortunately uh, started well, raining it started raining a little bit we finished just on time Colorado weather just we're used to it you know we live in Colorado you could see uh, it was nice and warm now it's, it's gonna raining. it was 90 it was like on the 80s this morning um, literally it started raining right now um, we're hoping or we might get snow later on you don't know it's just crazy here but we're done we got the three builds here well that one's fucking stuck as fuck so we got that build. Stage two. We got that build. That's a E85. That's a E85 minus some, some, some. So losing power. We're good. We're good. All right. So I think that's it for today's video, guys. Yeah, I think we're. Well, we're we'll probably. Uh, we're gonna start it on. So go ahead and start it on, bro. Let's see what. Let's see if it starts. If it doesn't, rebuild. Boom, started on like nothing, no idle, no anything, and look at that beautiful. Bro, we gotta check engine. Like, we gotta check engine. We're missing a bolt. He said, left rear bolt missing. <laughs> I was like, God damn, G fucking Bulls wagon, bro. <laughs> so we gotta check engine because uh, we removed some dirt that he had in there. <laughs> so that looks nice. Bro, this bug uh, light's not on. Oh, you were getting connected him. Oh! I think I did. Oh. So we forgot to connect that, guys. Alright, we're gonna delete that from the video. See you on the next one.